big room sucks when the groovy shit drops. Hello guys and welcome to episode three. Now, in last episode we decided we were gonna do a vocal. Um, some of you said not to use a vocal. Um, so um, it was kind of like a vote between. So I counted all of them up and the vocals won. Um, the vocal I used is one from the first uh, episode. You left a comment. It said, when big room drops, groovy shit sucks. I worked on the build up a bit so we can kind of get a sense of how it's going to sound like when it drops. Um, now, I know a lot of you guys, some of you guys are saying it sounds really plain when it drops. But you got to keep in mind, this is the first um, the first drop. And we kind of don't want to just go like, let's go balls out on the first drop. Because here, we're going to have a groovy drop that we're working towards a melodic breakdown. And then we're going to drop into melodic and then we're going to have um, another mini melodic break into this drop again. But this, then it's going to be layered way more and have like percussion straight off the bat. So that's why it kind of sounds very plain. Um, and that's the format we're going to take. So this is the way it sounds like. And then I'll show you guys what I added for the buildup, even though I didn't add nothing. I just made the vocal, which is on the beginning of the video. <laughs> Sucks when the green shit blocks. So there we go. So that's what we're going to keep. We're going to use this simple drop. Um, I know some of you guys liked it. Some of you didn't. It's, it's up to par. Um, again, I'm going by popular demand, not just one person. So we got to keep this kind of fair. Um, so yeah, um, we're going to work on the percussion now and then um, we're going to go from there. So our first four bars, we want them to be kind of plain where it's just a bass. And then you see this little gap here. We're going to have a, a mini um, sweep there and then we're going to go into percussion. So or so that's the plan. And yeah, but let me show you what the vocal has. I made the vocal myself. Um, obviously, you guys saw and then I put some reverb on it from Ableton, some EQing. Um, I took down here in the midst because the I wasn't really that prominent there. I put a vo um, a compressor and then I have an auto filter to automate this, which I will automate better once we get to the end of the track and then we work on the intro. All right, so let's get to it. So let's find some claps. I was playing around with um, the Admins Tom Media Essentials Pack. I have yet to play with them and I got this. If you guys like the MIDI, not the sample, because I couldn't find a good Tom, um, let me know in the comments below and we'll go from there. So for now, I'm going to move these to the side and work on a, on a loop here for the for this track. Now, I'm thinking whether to do like um, use loops or you make them myself, which I do most of the time because it saves a lot of time. But I'll teach you guys a couple of standard um, percussion um, things that everyone does. Okay, so we're going to have to find some claps and what better way than the into all samples and drums hmm i guess i'll use this kick this off we're gonna use C cntrl which are a great company by the way i love their samples um they've been around for a while let me use a drum rack now if i do go over the time limit i am going to cut the video and i'll just put this in part um four so don't be surprised if i just cut the video out um like last time, because it tends to happen. I only have a 15 minute limit. And this is a standard loop that a lot of people use in their tracks. And it's one I hate to use, but I'm not that great at percussion. So if you guys want to send me 
some ideas, maybe that could work out too. So right now I'm just going to make the standard one. And don't, don't be afraid to comment if the claps suck, and they might suck, but I just got them to save time. Don't want to waste too much time picking out claps. So if you guys got some nice claps you want to send me, you can send that as well. Again, through Facebook, make sure it's, um, send the demo by SoundCloud so I can hear the claps, and then I'll ask for the download if you guys, if I like them, so... Sucks when the green shit pops. Now we need like a mini sweep to go into this clap here, which is a standard thing to do again as well. Especially in trance, where we like to just put a mini sweep and then have nothing, but then put a shit ton of reverb on that mini sweep so that then you kind of hear it fading out and it's a cool effect. All right, let's try and find a mini sweep. Um, I think pressure samples should have. I think what I'm gonna do is separate the claps away from the the, the hi hats, so then I could side chain the hi hats because they they're very prominent. Again, turn EQ on to kind of just get the top of the kick. Now another thing to note is if you notice I kind of put the claps to not hit right on the one on the on the kick when the kick hit then that's because if the kick and the clap hit at the same time the uh, the kick's obviously going to draw out the clap a lot so one of the techniques a lot of people use as well so it doesn't sound so static as in like it doesn't sound like a machine is playing everything um they kind of try and add human error that way as well where it's not exactly on the grid but it's you know it's almost there um okay there we go I 
All right, so we clap. Uh, we pan them a bit as well. Um, now let's add the toms. We'll try and find like a good tom rhythm. So I have here um, Atmos Tom Media Central, which I think should be coming out tomorrow <laughs> if I can get the demo done by today. Um, but let me see if I can big drums. Atmos Tom Media Central. And he has a lot of them, so we can decide over a couple. <laughs> Let me put the sample somewhere up here. So let me put it on. Ah, oh God, whatever. I'm gonna change the instrument to a sampler so that the tom can change pitch. And we're going to pick a tom from CNTR All Samples, um, EDM Hits and Kits 2. Um, so Finding a right sample sucks. There we go. Wanna, wanna keep it in the same key and then we can uh, figure out what key the tom is in by putting a spectrum on it because the Toms are very bass prominent as well, some some of them. Um, and they tend to have a frequency as well, and we want that to be in key with our track, not a totally different one. So let's see what we can find this tom and what key it is. So it's in it's around in C. We can probably move this how he had it up to here, maybe down here. Let's try and find a good um, on MIDI because I suck at them. <laughs> Seriously, like when it comes to percussion, um, I don't even ask me. What the fuck happened here? Um, what the fuck happened here? Seriously. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. Um, so let's see. I suck at these, but you know, they fucking can't work. We're going to leave it like this for now because then our time is going to be running out. So um, hopefully you guys learned a few things, even though I suck at percussion. If you guys, again, have Tom samples that you want to send me, claps, whatever, make sure to send it to me through Facebook. Again, send me a preview first. No attachments, please. And I'll see you guys next time. So you get him. He pulls a knife. You pull a gun. He sends one of you to the hospital. You send one of his to the morgue. Patch. There's your